This content was taken from our groundbreaking heat pump and system design training. Engineers that take this course and pass our rigorous verification process are arguably the best engineers in the country and capable of designing and installing the most efficient heat pump systems possible. And they can be found at heatgeek.com. The installation of a heat pump is essentially a plumbing job. However, due to the extensiveness of the works involved in being a heating engineer in general, and especially for a heat pump installation, many building regulations must be understood and followed. Note that building regulations are a regulation and as such are enshrined in law. How the installer complies with these basic conditions comes down to interpretation though, and some responsibility may be passed to other contractors such as the Part P regulations to the electrical contractor for example. The building regulations we have to comply to are Part A structure, Part B fire safety, Part C, site preparation and resistance to contaminants and moisture. Part E, resistance to sound. Part G, sanitation, hot water, safety and water efficiency. Part L, conservation of fuel and power. And Part P, electrical safety. In addition to this, the insulation company or a nominated responsible person must be water regulation certified, the practices follow the water regulations and the fittings used be water regulation certified where required. A specific building regulations G3 certification must be held and practices followed. The G3 regulations focus on the safe installation of pressurized hot water cylinders most specifically. And of course, all existing and new plumbing should be suitable for the application as per the British standards. Plastic pipework is not against any of these standards, but is strongly advised against on heat pump heating systems. The effect on system efficiency caused by the restrictive inserts used on plastic fittings should not be underestimated. Flow is king with heat pumps and plastic fittings do not help with this and also make balancing difficult. Plastic pipework also harbors much more bacteria in a heating system than copper. This is exacerbated by the low flow temperatures that all systems should run at for the highest possible efficiency. If copper is unsuitable or you're running on floor heating, we strongly suggest MLC or multi-layer composite pipework, which is a large improvement over basic plastic pipework due to the increased oxygen barrier. This will need to be upsized to account for additional pressure loss from the inserts in the fittings though. Plastic pipework is okay for hot and cold water, although not ideal for flow rates, and can have rodent issues, but absolutely must not be used on any secondary hot water return systems due to becoming brittle from pasteurization and large leaks occurring. This full course can be found at courses.heatgeek.com and don't forget to comment with any questions you might have as well of course please subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one.